Hi, this video will give you an idea about composite items and how bundling works in Zoho Inventory. A composite item in Zoho Inventory is a single commodity that is made up by putting two or more items together. With composite items, you can create kits and sell them for customized rates and also perform assemblies to create finished goods. First, you need to enable the composite items module in your organization. Go to the settings module and click on preferences. Open the items tab. Navigate to the composite items section and mark the checkbox beside the option would you like to enable composite items. Click the save button to apply your settings. Now, under the items module, you will be able to see the composite items feature ready for action. To create a composite item, go to the composite items module and click on the new button at the top right corner and fill in the required fields. Under the associate items field, add the items and the quantity of these items that constitute the composite item. Click save to successfully create the composite item. If at any point you wish to alter the items and the services that comprise the composite item, you can do so by editing it. Go to the preferred composite item and click on the edit icon. Here, you can make the necessary changes if you have no transactions associated with it. You can also delete the composite item if you have no transactions associated with it. Click on more and you will have the option to delete the item. If there comes a situation where you are unsure whether you want to delete your item or not, you can mark it inactive instead. If you want to reactivate it, simply click on mark as active. If your composite items have designated serial numbers, you can record them in Zoho Inventory and later add them to your sales transaction. Create a new composite item and under Advanced Inventory Tracking, choose Track Serial Number. Hit Save to create a serial number track composite item. You can add new serial numbers for this item later while creating a purchase bill. Or, if you've entered an opening stock, you can add the serial numbers for the given opening stock in the same page as comma separated values. If you purchase composite items in batches, then you can record the batch numbers along with its expiry date in Zoho Inventory. Create a new composite item and under Advanced Inventory Tracking, choose Track Batches. Hit Save to create a batch track composite item. You can add new batch numbers for this item later while creating a purchase bill. Or, if you have entered opening stock, you can add the batch numbers for the given opening stock on the same page. This section of the video will help you find your way throughout the Composite Items module. Let us begin by navigating to the Composite Items module and opening up a Composite Item. By opening a Composite Item, you will find five sections. Overview, Transactions, Adjustments, Bundling History and History. The Overview section will house all the primary sales and purchase, associated items and stock location information for that Composite Item. You also have a dedicated sales summary graph and the option to update the reorder levels right here. The Transactions section will show you all the transactions associated with a composite item. To find a specific transaction, you can filter by transaction type and further narrow down your search with a status filter. The results are hotwired to the original document so that you can have a quick look at the details. The Adjustment section works just like the one you have for items. This section will list out all the stock adjustments made to the composite items for various reasons. The Bundling History section is one of the core sections of this module. Here, you will be able to view the log of all the instances you've bundled a composite item along with the value of the cost incurred. The History section will maintain a log of all the updates you make to the primary information of your composite item. You can apply the filters to narrow down your search to the preferred composite items. To apply a filter, navigate to the Composite Items page and click on the Composite Item Filter tab. Choose one of the filters from the drop-down and on doing so, the records that fit your choice will be displayed. Coming to the core feature of the Composite Items module. Bundling is the act of putting together different components in desired quantities to produce a single commodity. These components could be goods, services and other non-inventory items of your choice. To bundle the items, Navigate to the Items tab on the sidebar. Select Composite Items from the drop-down and open the preferred composite item. Now click on the Create Bundle button. Enter all the mandatory fields like bundling number, etc. and choose the warehouse within which you would like to create the bundle. 
You can customize the content of your bundles here. You can add or delete items of your choice and bundle the composite item. Click on Save Bundle to finish the operation. If you have enabled serial number tracking or batch tracking for your composite item, then you will be able to add serial numbers or batch numbers to its bundles as well. To add serial numbers or batch numbers to the bundles, open a composite item for which you have enabled serial number or batch number tracking. Click the Create Bundle button found at the top right corner and enter the quantity of bundles you want to create. Now, click on the Add Serial Number option. Enter the serial numbers for the bundle quantity and click Save. Follow the same instructions for batch track composite items as well. Whenever the quantity in demand for a composite item is greater than the quantity available, you can choose the bundle option inside a sales order or an invoice to generate the required quantity on the fly. To do so, navigate to the sales order or the invoice module and create a new transaction. Add a composite item to the items table and specify the quantity ordered by your customer. If the quantity ordered is greater than the available quantity shown, you will find a new option called Bundle below the quantity field. Click the Bundle option and the required quantity of composite items that need to be bundled will be automatically calculated. Now click Save to generate the required quantity of the composite item. If at any point when you do not have any use for a bundle, you can always delete it to get back its constituents. To do so, go to the Items page and open a preferred composite item with existing bundles. Click on the Bundling History tab and navigate to the trash icon on the left corner of each bundling entry. To delete the bundle, click on it and confirm your action. This will automatically raise the stock level of the constituents of that bundle. If you are a reseller of kits or composite items, Let's see how we can manage your workflow using Zoho Inventory. Create a composite item and if you have some stock on hand, record them as opening stock and specify the average purchase price of the kits as opening stock value during the creation process or create a purchase order for the required quantity. Mail the purchase order to your vendor and when you receive the composite items from your vendor, record the delivery of goods into your warehouse or organization as a receive. Record the vendor bill by converting the purchase receive into a bill. Depending on your preferred mode of stock tracking, the stock level of the composite item will increase and whenever a customer places an order, you will be able to generate a sales order, an invoice and then create packages or shipments for them using Zoho Inventory. To adjust stock of a composite item, open the preferred composite item and click on More and select Adjust Stock. Enter the quantity being adjusted and the reason for adjustment and click on save to reflect the stock changes. It is crucial to be aware when your stock is going low. When a composite item goes into the low stock zone, you can find out using two ways. You can either list them using the low stock filter or you can find out by going through the reorder notification mail. To set low stock alerts, navigate to the composite items module and select a preferred composite item. Click on the edit button to update the reorder level and preferred vendor fields. Now click on the save button. Henceforth, you will receive a reorder notification mail whenever this item goes below your set reorder point. Please note that before you set reorder levels, you have to make sure that you have enabled reorder level notification under item preferences in the settings. You can perform a reorder to stock up the supplies that you're low on. To do so, go to the contacts module and under the filter tab, choose the filter vendor reorder items. On doing so, the system will list out all your preferred vendors whose associated items are below the reorder point. Select the vendor associated to this item and you will find a highlighted Order Now option below his contact information. Clicking on the Order Now button will redirect you to a new purchase order page along with the pop-up that has all the low stock items associated with this vendor. Add the items you wish and create a purchase order and follow the purchase cycle. That's all for this video. Please contact support at zoho-inventory.com if you need any further assistance.